What's up everybody, this is Cheese Mr. Poof and I welcome you to the Hot Side Friday, your weekly dosage of Hotstone content on the Cheese Mr. Poof channel. And I'm your host. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play this deck I call the Eerie Lock. And why is it called that? Look at this. It's the Eerie Statue. I uh, toyed around with this deck earlier a little bit and lost two matches in the rank ladder. But... From... My defeats, my downfalls, I learned something. I learned that the Frost Giant against aggressive decks and uh, not grindy matches is pretty bad. And I learned that against stuff like Secret Paladin and uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Zoo. So basically aggressive decks. Um, I get trampled pretty hard, so... This is what I'm adding. I'm adding another zombie chow. And... Uh, we need... I mean, Bronze Beard calls to me for some reason. Because we can double heal bot. Mm, the curve is a bit wonky. And there aren't that many taunt things, so I guess we can cut an Ancient Watcher. Uh, Death Lord seems like it could be a thing. I mean, we have some board wipe potential. You know what? I think... Yeah, we don't have enough spells for the Wild Pyromancer to do anything. I think Unstable Ghoul is a fine addition. A one-off. I mean, it's a taunt. It's gonna suck in some damage and it's gonna AoE. And when we get the AoE, we get Eerie Statue, we have Starseeker for that alternative win condition. We got Healbots for heals, Dr. Boom for boom, and Molten Giants to get some taunt value. Now the deck is basically what you would probably call a bad handlock deck at this stage. And uh, that's basically what it is, it's almost what it is. But, um, yeah, <laughs> you know what, when I see cards like the Eerie Statue that, when I see cards like this, I just want to make them work. I am like that guy who sees that card and everyone's like, that card is super bad, doesn't even fit in handlock or anything. And I'm looking at it like, eh, I like it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to make it work. And sometimes it backfires horribly. This is probably one of those times. And uh, I don't know if there's enough AoE in the world to make this deck viable, but still, we're gonna try. I think we can cut a Void Terror and add something else. Uh, a Discover card would be actually pretty nice. I mean, we could run the Egg just because of the sheer number of board wipes, but that adds to the two converted mana cost list. So a three drop would be nice. Um, Imp Master does things, but not enough things. This thing dies to my AoEs. And most of these things die to my AoEs. Shattered Sun, Silver Hand, Wolf Rider, Tinker Town Technician. My mind is calling to stuff like Lothab and Sludge Belcher. But then there's Tournament Medic, which when you're playing Warlock is kind of like you take two damage, you heal two damage. So you just draw a card. Eh. And it's a four drop, so I don't want another four drop in my slots. I feel like a Sludge Belcher would really help us survive. Even though it's just one. Now it's starting to look like a weird Swiss army knife. We got a lot of shit and we're gonna try to make it work, man. We're gonna go into the play mode and we're gonna go to the rank ladder. We might lose all our ranks. But that's why we play the suboptimal decks so you don't have to. I am the Evan Irvin of the Hearthstone world. Not really. I'm not saying I am. But I'm playing the bad decks, so you don't have to. Gul'dan. 
If you ever thought about making an eerie statue deck, but never really wanted to go to rank with such a deck, or even casual, st step on in. This is this is the show for you. We're gonna throw away everything except Star Seeker and hope for our one drops. Okay, we got a one drop, two drop, four drop. So we're gonna drop this and hopefully we joust. Unstable Ghoul is fine against that thing, right? Joust, 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 joust. Fuck. Well, I mean, the point of this jouster guy in this deck is because I have a lot of late game, but with the changes I did to the deck by removing Frost Giants, I guess now Gadgeton Jouster is just bad. I should probably remove this guy. And this is where we drop Unstable Ghoul. The AoE is something that we can use. Hopefully there's no Earth Shocks. Although I don't know why you would waste Earth Shocks on an Unstable Ghoul. Although he is probably confused seeing the Gadgetjen Jouster and the Unstable Ghoul. And that's Feral Spirits giving him Overload. And that's the AoE hitting the board. We could coin for Hellfire and just go fuck it. And since he's overloaded, I'm doing that. That's one board wipe down. Next turn we can play Star Seeker. We get a 3-5 minion out of it. He has nothing else except the totem for that turn, so we're fine. And we draw a healbot. We don't really need the healbot that bad now, so I'm probably gonna save it for turn 8 Bran and healbot. So now we just want to draw into our Ancient Watcher or Eerie Statue. Feral Spirits again. Well, the Hellfire is gonna... Do we actually just Hellfire now? We'll still have a minion. Oh man, I would love to map. But the Hellfire is too good. He's overloading and losing board presence, so mm, can't pass up that offer. Next turn we can play map all we want, though. That's another tunnel trog, and now you kill the Star Seeker with a lightning bolt, actually. Or is that to the face? Nope, that kills the Star Seeker, and you crackle face. If he's gonna start bursting, I might have to play Sludge Belcher. Denied. Okay, now seeing this against an aggressive deck, I think I might want to put in more Belchers. I mean, one more, but you get the gist. So now he's at 5 mana, overloaded for 2. Is he going to go Lava Bursting, a Zombie Chow? Lava Shock. So he gets the mana. Doom Hammer? That's some... Um... Pretty dank shit. Okay. So it looks like I might have to play sheep and give it plus one, plus one, and taunt. Because I can't. Bran heal bot yet, and he has too much damage here. He might just flat out kill me here. My seal for Not the best play, but this way it's taunted, it protects me, silence would really fuck me over here. But if he can't kill me this turn, Brand Bronze Beard and the Healbot will pick up the game. From the ditch. And we still have a minion. We no longer have a minion. Or is he gonna go face with that? He might just go face with this shit. He has 10 damage from the weapon. Yep, he's going face. He's gone to the fucking club. Man, am I glad that I have this combo. Well 
I greet you, friend. I just gained a shit ton of life. Most aggro shamans would concede at that point, but this guy is still hoping to get that win. Well, he deals 7 with the crackle. He might actually just flat out kill me. I need to draw my heals and or taunts. That's not a heal or a taunt, but hey, sure. Golden monkey, draw a card. I'm so sorry, friend. Feels bad, bro. Feels bad, bro. I don't think you can win. How many cards do you have in your deck? 17. You would need some card draw. Board wipes. I mean, you can technically still win. I mean, I've used up all my heal and that's another doom hammer. Um, I'm gonna need those taunts. This man is not conceding. Holy fuck. Play Dr. Doubles. Oh, there's not enough room on the board. Whoops. Well, we'll take out the minion, hit the face. I don't think he can kill me now. He would need ancestral knowledge to draw two cards, and those two cards would have to be something that lets him OTK me. And we win. We win an actual match with the Eerie deck, although we did not do anything Eerie with the deck. Oh, we get gold, we get gold at least. Okay, so now before we go and try to queue up with this deck again, I'm gonna make some serious adjustments, uh, like the removing of the jousters, keeping the zombie chows, adding something. Um, I don't think Curse of Rapham is good. Voidwalker would kind of protect me. Sure. I mean... We no longer have the jousters, so we don't care. Actually, cut one and add a belcher. The belcher helped a lot with the aggressive decks, and I feel like the meta has a lot of aggressive decks nowadays, so play ranked. We're gonna try it one more time. Hopefully we can live the dream where we get to attack with the Eerie Watcher. Because I haven't heard the attack animation of that card. And I am super pumped. I want to vi witness this. I need to witness this. This is something I need in my life. I sincerely hope you are not a secret paladin player. Because I hate the secret paladins. But we have the one drop. And we have two dark bombs, so I think we're fine. Uh, we need to draw a demon wrath. For the muster, but otherwise we're fine. I don't think I'm gonna dark bomb against the one one. Although wait, he can play avenge and play another divine shield dude. So I actually did that. You saw me do that. I am thinking. Mustard. Top deck, Demon's Wrath. Now. Hellfire is not Demon's Wrath. Um, we could kill one and play Bronze Beard and freak him out. Although we really need Bronze Beard. Oh, we kill one of these guys. We tap. That's a sludge belcher. Oh, well. I mean, next time we got Hellfire. Do we... Yeah, he's committing to the board. We're Hellfiring that. Even though it's just some 2-1 and 1-1s. One okay, so we're gonna go down to 20. But that's fine. Next time we drop the Belcher and hopefully we'll slow him down. I mean, we don't know if it's Secret Paladin yet. It might be just an Aggro Paladin. I think those guys pack Silence though, so uh, that's gonna be tough. 
I don't like people who play silence cards. It takes the fun out of the game. Ooh, playing it without the battle cry. So it might not be the secret paladin. Okay, so it's a good thing I'm keeping bronze beard because I could just play unstable ghoul and it would be funny. But with five mana, we're playing the belcher. You bet, you bet your sweet ass we're playing the belcher. It might get silenced though. Blessing of Might is not a silence effect, but at least that's not damage to my face. Keep on playing dudes, I don't care. This deck contains board wipe potential, like Shadow Flame. So we play the ghoul. We tap. Draw Hellfire. Pass a turn, because we're just that badass. Bronze beard will heal our face. Oh, fuck. Well, there is a convoluted thing I can do to kill this thing. I can dark bomb it and then shadow flame my unstable ghoul. And that should kill it. It takes all my mana, but it kills them. Ah, uh, it's not the best play. Uh, so this would give me double plus. But that puts my bronze beard in danger. And I really need the heals late game. So this is a really janky combo. Hit face. But that was the best I got at that point. So we can play Watcher next turn. Welcome to the Grand Tournament. That's gonna hurt. We can Hellfire though. I think we're most certainly going to Hellfire that. Demon Wrath is not quite enough. Uh, how much mana is Bronze Beard Argus Watcher? We don't have enough mana for that yet, so we're gonna Hellfire. Not going down too much, but we're going down considerably. So this is not Put your faith in the light. a very good thing for me. That is a Tyrion. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Well, I need Taunt. I think I need to put a lot of stuff into play. I feel like I need to Bronze Beard. But I need the bronze beam for the heals, but I might just die. Uh, place sheep. Do I even dare to tap? I have two taunts. One of them is an AoE dude, though. Okay, not drawing into healbot is super scary. We are up against a Tyrion on the field. Hits the sheep. Does AoE. People are reporting for duty. More silver hand. No two arms. This isn't the fishing tournament, my friend. I'm sorry, but that's the eerie statue. You've seen the eerie statue now, so you are afraid. That's Healbot. I think we can rest easy now. Well, not easy, but... Uh, can we even play? Ah, uh, man. I think... I think we have to Argus Demon Wrath. It feels janky, I know. But this way we get dudes and we kill a bunch of his dudes. It's not ideal. It's not ideal in any way. I mean, I could play Boom, Demon Wrath, hope for good Boom bots. 
I don't like that play either. Um, My shield for Argus. The shield is for Argus and Argus only. I misplayed! Whoops. That was a mistake. And I think I'm just dead here. That's exact lethal, actually. Does he realize the lethal, or is he gonna be greedy? Does he realize the lethals? I think he got the lethal. Okay. I, I've had enough with this deck. We're, we're gonna do an exorcism on this deck. I know I mentioned before, I'm that guy who wants to make janky cards work. Well, that guy just had enough. Eerie statue, don't play it, kids. It's gonna ruin your rank ladder. It's not gonna work. You're not gonna... You're not gonna find that magical Christmas land. There's no Santa Claus. This doesn't work. But at least you didn't have to play this. You got to watch me play this. Except I didn't really get it off. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this somewhat, and... Uh, Hope you're having a better day than I am with this deck. And uh, that has been Hard Side Friday for this week. Hopefully there will be a better Hard Side Friday next week with an actual decent deck. I'm just Mr. Poof and it has been a pleasure. A true pleasure. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one.